All right, guys, this is the latest from Sennheiser for 2024. They announced three new wireless products and we got hands-on time with them. We'll tell you our impressions and what these products are about. First up, the Accentum Plus, which is the successor of the Accentum. Over-ear noise-canceling headphones. So most of the controls are very similar to the Momentum now. So it's a hybrid between buttons and touch controls. And they have two different colors, the white and the black. I guess they have fancy names, but that's what we <laughs> saw. And a big difference is that now there's a zipper travel case included, which was not the case with the original Accentum. Now, where is this position? It's between the Accentum, the cheaper ANC headphones, and the Momentum. That's why it's an Accentum Plus. Yeah. And in terms of battery life, looking pretty good, but we obviously have to test it. Yeah. 50 hours of battery life, and there's a support for APTX Adaptive. Yeah, and these come out on February 20th. That's the release date. And the price we're looking at a bit higher than the original Accentum at 230 euros or 230 dollars. Yeah, or 200 pounds. Yeah. So Kevin, what are your thoughts about the Accentum Plus before we move on to the other two? Yeah, and we were talking about that, right? I was pretty happy with the Accentum with my time with it. It's nice beater headphones, you know, no case, but good price point, sounds good, has all the nice features, ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah. But now with the Accentum Plus and the removal of those buttons, yeah. I'm not as ex excited. I really preferred the buttons, even though they were a bit cheapy and cheap, cheapy and click, <laughs> cheap and clicky. But uh, yeah, that's my initial impression. Yeah, I'm curious to see if anything has changed under the hood. Yeah, I think that's where the biggest difference is going to be. Just based on design, they look like exactly the same. Yeah, the buttons. Actually, we prefer buttons over touch, even though touch seems to be the premium thing. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. But we're in terms of excitement on one to ten on this scale. You are. I'm uh, 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 six and a half. That's good. Now we're going to go to the next one. I think that's going to be higher on the excitement scale. The Sennheiser Momentum Sport. It's not the Sennheiser Sport, right. which is an older earphone. They have a new name and there's a reason for that. Okay, these buds are IP55 rated, but that's not the good part. The case is IP54 rated as well. So that's not something we see all the time. Yeah, and speaking of case, these are totally designed for sport and Sennheiser has completely redesigned these earbuds. There's a carabiner clip on the case similar to the old one, but you get Qi wireless charging and USB-C, which is under a flap. I guess they had to do that for IP54. Exactly. And the hinge situation is also very interesting. It's a flexible rubberized hinge. And so the reason behind that is what Sennheiser was saying is that people who are sporty and, you know, active, they don't want to deal with a very stiff hinge because there's risk of it breaking. So it's a clever choice of design. All right. So in terms of design, we talked about the hinge, we talked about the case, but there are a lot of interesting design choices made on the buds themselves. These are semi open. Yeah. So welcome to the club Sennheiser. And that really means if you're running, you're working out, you're not going to hear all those body borne sounds like if your ears are plugged up. Yeah. So that's an excellent uh, innovation from Sennheiser. And these also come with adaptive noise cancelling. Uh, but what's also interesting is that these track your body temperature and heart rate, which yeah. is also not something we see very often. It's really, they've gone all out with the sports and the fitness thing. Yeah. It's compatible with apps like Apple, Garmin and Polar. And they even told us that you get access to the premium Polar Flow app if you get these buds. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And as we know, Polar is really known for their uh, yeah, sports and activity tracking. And so when you get access to Polar Flow, of course, we're going to have to test it, but you're going to get access to lots of nice fitness data. In terms of battery life, the stated battery life is six hours. Decent, again, something we have to test. Yeah. It is extendable to 24 hours with the charging case. And the overall design footprint of the case and the buds do seem a lot smaller than yeah. the Sennheiser Sport. So yeah. that's really nice. Yeah, the, the, the design is nice and they have three colors and I really like the what they call the burned olive color. Yeah. It's like a green, a dark green. They also have the polar black and the metallic graphite polar black. Maybe it's a reference to polar flow. Oh. But anyway, there are three colors and all of them look pretty good to us. Yeah. Okay, so when can you get it and how much is it going to cost you? It's releasing on April 9th That's and right. they're going to retail at $330, 330 euros or 260 British pounds. So Ron, what are we thinking? Well, I think out of the three products they, they announced, yeah. this is, the, let's say, the newest product mm. and the most innovative because there's a lot going on under the surface. And it's also, ironically, the most expensive of these three products. So you have a lot of fitness tracking. The design is meant for, you know, open ears. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about this product, even though I'm not a very fit person <laughs> and I don't do much fitness. I should yeah. do more. Maybe these buds will help me get fitter. 
yeah, I mean, overall, I just love the comfort of these buds in the initial impression, let's say. And uh, yeah, the wireless charging, you know, the polar flow. I'm excited to try out of out all of those. And I think this is one of the most interesting that Sennheiser has released for my excitement level. Where are we? Where are we? Where One are you? to ten. Where One. are you? I think, even though I'm not a fitness person, not really targeted for this, yeah. I would say just in terms of the product, I think it's an eight and a half, solid eight and a half. For me. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. The You're... DH Army sense was strong on that. It was One. tingling. Speaking of, let's tingle away to the next product, which is the Sennheiser Momentum Four. It's probably what you guys want to hear about the most. Yeah. Knowing you guys, you audio nerds. <laughs> yeah, so these also come in three different colors and I thought the colors were nice. One of them is slightly changed. The bronze, gold, whatever that Correct. was. Yeah. So that's a nice color. Yeah, and they've also slightly changed the ear tips. Not very big in terms of physical design, but uh, what they said was that there was earwax going through the ear tip into the kind of mesh and then blocking the nozzle. And a lot of people noticed that there was a drop in volume in one of the buds or both or whatever. And so they've done a slight tweak there just to uh, solve that issue. But again, we'll have to see what that pans out in real life. At the end of the day, even though they said there's no physical change, yeah. I, know, I felt that they were physically more comfortable than the other, uh, the, than the Momentum 3s, which actually have an identical design. So I don't know what that is about, but we will test more and get back to you. Yeah. And of course, there is an app and we didn't quite see a difference. It looks like it's the same app. Yeah. So of course, we'll test it in depth. All right. And it does include a lot of things under the hood. So you get BLE support, Bluetooth low energy, you get AuraCast, which is, you know, mass broadcasting fit an airport. You can use, listen to the announcement on your buds because yeah. there are many silent airports these days that yeah. don't do announcements. And what about sound? Of course, we didn't have enough time to test it. It was a crowded a suite where we were actually trying these products. But it is slightly fine-tuned from what Sennheiser told us. I could kind of hear it, but but again, not enough time to test them. So on the treble, there is some tuning that has happened. So we have to wait and see. Okay. Uh, it also supports Qualcomm's S5 Sound Gen 2 platform and Snapdragon Sound with, wait for it, aptX lossless audio. So for you nerds, I think it's going to be really interesting. Juice situation on these buds is seven and a half hours on the buds and 30 hours with the case. There's USB type C and Qi wireless charging as well. I think what this doesn't tell you is for me, the most important, I love the Momentum 3, except for one thing, the unreliability with the Bluetooth connection. And I think Sennheiser kind of acknowledged that, not directly. It seems that they have worked on that. There's a brand new Bluetooth chip with Bluetooth 5.4. Yeah. And I think they've done something for reception as well. So I think we're going to see a better connectivity situation. But who knows? Nothing works till we have tested it. So, yeah. Okay. Then, the release date and pricing. Going to be released on February 29th and retailing at $299 or 299 euros and 260 pounds. All right. Excitement meter. Tell me. Where are you? One to ten. I'm at like a six. Okay. Okay. I mean... Yeah, there's no no changes. It doesn't look different. Yeah. It's incremental. I am at seven, I think. Okay. And it's mainly not even because of ABDX lossless. It's mainly because of the new Bluetooth chip. I, I always thought the Sennheiser would be my number one earbuds. Yeah. Were they more reliable? Maybe this helps. So. And you were pretty satisfied with the fit and comfort. So yeah. that bodes well. That bodes well. <laughs> <laughs> You've been boating. <laughs> and we've been DHRME. Do it. Do it. So who are we thankful for, Kevin? We are always thankful to our sponsors. I mean, our YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give us. And a special thanks to our Fuckman tier, Paula, Hunter, and Gamma. Thank you very, very much. Did we say thank you? We said thank you. Do we? Is it recording, man? Oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll right? see you in my son.